Hello, this is Vek. Welcome to my channel and thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful country of Greece and I'm visiting one of the most spectacular Greek islands, the island of Naxos, here in the Cyclades or the Kiklades part of Greece in the Aegean Sea. In this particular documentary, we're going to visit five beaches here in Naxos. We're going to walk through the beaches and we're going to see how beautiful they are. Now, each one of the beaches is different than the other. At the very end, I will tell you which one is my favorite, just in case you decide to come to this beautiful and spectacular island. We're going to start with the beach of Agios Georgios, just a couple of kilometers south from Hora, the main town here in Naxos. Then we're going to visit the beach of St. Anna, Agia Anna, four kilometers away then the beach of Agios Prokopios and finally the beach of Plaka which is about 10 kilometers away from Kora. At the very very end we're gonna visit the beach of Apollon or Apollonas which is 50 kilometers away from Kora. It takes a couple of hours to get there and once again we're gonna go through the beaches we're gonna visit each one of them and at the very end I will tell you my favorite and why. This is Vic. Let's go for a tour of the wonderful beaches of the Greek island of Naxos. Let's do it. And uh, this is the beautiful beach of St. George or Agios Georgios. I am about a kilometer directly south from Hora, the main town here in Naxos. And this is the first beach that you would encounter. It's a family beach with a lot of resort hotels built. You can see them behind the umbrellas. Very shallow, ideal for children. Very nice clear water as you can see. Right here. It is about 600 meters in length. It will take about 10 minutes to walk to the other end down there. So let's do it. Let's walk on the beach and let's see how it feels to be here right in the middle of the summer in August at 36 degrees Celsius. And as I said, you will see a lot of children here. You can see the hotels in the back built in the traditional style and architecture. And uh, in the far distance, right there in the middle of the frame, we can see the beach of St. Anna, Agia Anna, named after this small, beautiful church located on a hill at the southern tip of the bay of Agia Anna, St. Anna. So let's. Uh, walk down from the hill and let's go visit this uh, very famous beach here in Naxos. The only negative aspect about this beach that, that uh, I can think of is how narrow it is. It is only about 30 meters in width and that would make it a very crowded place indeed. You can see how crowded it is right now. It is about noon in the middle of the week. Otherwise, it is a very pleasant place, very clean, very organized. You can see the beautiful architecture of the hotels by the waterfront. I can also hear a lot of Italian. This is a very popular place for Italian families to come to. 
Naxos in general is a very popular place for Italians due to the history here in Naxos since the Venetians occupied Naxos for at least 300 years beginning in the 13th century. So here are some beautiful views real life from Agia Anna. And uh, finally, here is the beach of Agios Prokopios, Saint Prokopios. Now, why would the Greeks name the beaches after the saints? You're probably wondering, and the reason is because there's always a church here in this area of the same saint, and the beach, of course, was named after the church and after the same saint. So let's go down to this uh, beach which is uh, only about three or four kilometers south of Aios Georgios and just north of Agia Anna. The water is very very clear at this beautiful beach. However, the sand here is not as fine as the sand we saw at Plaka. If you're looking for a beach here at Naxos with very fine white sand, Plaka is the place to go to. The closer you come to the main town of Naxos or Hora, the less fine the sand becomes. This is a beach very similar to the beach at uh, Agia Anna, with the exception you don't have the hotels right behind the umbrellas here. It runs for about two kilometers. You can see the end all the way there in the far distance. And it is a family beach, just like all the other ones. Do not expect to see nudity or topless people here that belongs in the past. Let's walk through. We're going to go to the middle of the beach, which is the most crowded, about 300 meters away from here, and videotape some scenes over there. Otherwise, this is exactly a repetition of Saint Anna with Italians, Greeks, and Germans occupying the umbrellas and the lounge chairs and enjoying really the beautiful water, the beautiful bay, the views of Paros across and the fantastic spectacular Greek weather. Walking right along, what I like about this beach as well because of its direction it doesn't get the wind and the big waves that, that we saw at Plaka. And it is also shallow, ideal for kids. You can see a lot of kids right there swimming in less than one meter of depth. And uh, here is the beautiful beach of Plaka about 10 kilometers south of uh, Hora, the main town here in Naxos. And Plaka is by far the longest beach. It runs for about five kilometers, believe it or not. And what we're going to do now is just walk around and get a few video clips so you can see how beautiful it is. We're also going to get in the water to get an idea of how clear the water is at this point on the beach. Let's go. I 
believe uh, this is the only beach here in Naxos with uh, 5 to 10 meter sand dunes. You can see them right here, consisting of very fine white sand. Very hard to walk on them because you will sink a few centimeters, so it takes a lot of energy but it adds the overall beauty of the place and of the beach. Here they are once more. And uh, here's a beautiful view of the small sandy beach by the fishing village of Apollon or Apollonas in the northeastern corner of Naxos. This is the only fishing village you will find in the whole island. It's located at one tip of a beautiful bay. You can see that the other side of the bay has a rocky mountain coming into the bay. And on the other side, there's a small beach. And this is where the village of Apollon is located at, at the same time. It is very popular with Greek families to come here for swimming. There's also another smaller beach on the other side of this one. So let's go get a couple of views of this beautiful place here in Naxos. And uh, here's another view of this uh, beach here in Naxos. Very beautiful, clear water as you can see. And the views are absolutely beautiful. Right behind me there's a smaller beach, not as sandy as this one. That's a view of the village of Apollonas and you can see the main church right there in the middle of the frame. What you see right along the beach are restaurants serving mainly fresh fish. What else could you ask for? Now this is a very difficult place to get to from Naxos, from Hora, the main town. It will take you about two hours. But you will pass some absolutely incredible places crossing the mountains to get here. Well, I certainly hope you have enjoyed all these documentaries from the five beaches here in Naxos and here are the results. We are going to start with the beaches that I did not like. First of all, I didn't like St. George or I use your use. Too much seaweed everywhere. As a matter of fact, I was there today, three days after I videotaped the original video clips, and there was seaweed everywhere and I don't like that. So thumbs down for St. George or I use your use. I like the beach of St. Anna, but I find it too narrow and too crowded, although it's beautiful and very nicely organized, but it just gets too crowded for me, so thumbs down for St. Anna as well. The beach at uh, Apollon, you know, the beach by the fishing village, is too small, too narrow, and too close to the restaurants. I didn't like that at all, so thumbs down for Apollon Beach as well. Now, I really do not like the beach at Plaka. Well, that's because even though it's beautiful, it's got the most beautiful white fine sand, it is narrow and you get dust on your face all the time from the passing cars and motorcycles. So two big thumbs down for the beach at Plaka. And thumbs up for the beach at Ayos Prokopios, the same Prokopios, the most beautiful beach here in Naxos. It's wide, it's long, it's beautiful, it's organized, it's not as busy, the sand is beautiful. It is absolutely, the water is absolutely blue, turquoise, and very, very clean. So if you come to Naxos, the best beach to go to is by far St. Procopios. 
or Agios Procopius here in Naxos. This is Vic all the way from the beautiful island of Naxos in the Cyclades or Kiklades in Greece. Bye bye.